Hello guys, it's Paula. And today I thought we would do uh, something that I saw on Gina's, Gina um, at the Firefly Studio 67. And I'll link her below. But I was inspired by her. She inspires me a lot along with many others, but um, she did a envelope journal, or she did the cover for an envelope journal, and I thought we would do that, but she did it with windows, and she decoupaged, and we, we might work on these if we have some time. These are some others I was considering. I'm going to move them to the side. But first, I want to do... I want to be able to do my... Um, my... For my... Sorry. I'm thinking faster than I can get it out this morning. <laughs> I want to use my favorite napkin. Okay? I got these yesterday at um, Tuesday morning. Yes, I had an outing, and um, I survived. <laughs> so I figure I'm I'm gonna make it. So I did survive my outing. So what you do is you take two envelopes, whatever size you have, and you want to use. Um, they're different sizes, so you know, just go with whatever you want. I decided on the on this particular one, I would not use um, windows, like I said. And so I'm going to line, you put the one flap inside the other flap, line them up right here, okay? Now, when you flip it over, you're gonna have this flap on one side. Okay, I'm gonna make that the back of my journal, and that's the one that you will attach to the other envelope. Okay, so let's do that now. If I can get my Fabri-Tac to come out. It's morning, it's stretching. Let's see, there we go. All right. Keep going down here. All right. So I want that to be attached pretty good. My glue came out super slow. Sorry about that. Any other time it would be just going out everywhere. So we have attached this portion. Now, as far as the inside of this other one, it should stay in there without any problems, but I am gonna put a little bit of glue, uh, a little bit on here and then put it back in. If I can get it to, cause I just don't wanna take a chance that it might come out. Okay, um, now we can leave uh, we can leave these pockets open, you can, or you can leave them closed. It's whichever you prefer. I'm going to leave one open, and I think it's going to be this one that I leave open. Because both of the tags are attached to this. No, wait a minute. No. <laughs> one tag is attached to this. But I just think, since we glued this uh, flap inside on this side, we want it to be more secure. So I'm gonna add paper over the top of that, but we wanna make sure we don't put any glue under here, okay? So this is going to be the right side. And you see here how it just turns out great. Okay, and that's going to be the back. And so we're gonna um, decoupage some of antique paper Rhea's images on to this 
envelope. I hope you guys are having a great day. It's muggy here where we are, huh? In Oklahoma. Okay, so what I did just to show you, let me get my my uh, decoupage open first. I just want to show you what I did. Um, I took just a pretty simple uh, background. Now, I am going to decoupage this down. And if it, um, if it will allow me, I'm going to decoupage over it once it's dry. Never done this before. Or I may just do them both at the same time. If it doesn't work, we will not have a video. Just FYI. Now, I just drew around the envelope where I wanted it on here. And I've just about, I don't want to do it like that. I want to tear it. You know, sometimes you forget what you have planned. Planned it yesterday. And so, um, I want it to, let me see where it ends here. Oh. Okay, right there. Okay. Now, let's tear it right here. Now, I do have a pencil mark, but I'm going to tear just inside that pencil mark and try to get it as straight as I can. I want it to have kind of a rough edge. Okay. Let's do this side. This one is... Might make it a tiny bit shorter than I planned, but it's not a big deal. I'll just go slower. <laughs> okay, there we go. So both sides are, are, are torn on the ends. Now let's do the... Down the very side. I wish all... Um, digitals were uh didn't have borders it would make life a lot easier and of course this may be an older one i got this out of my um my collage box instead of just going in printing off something i just thought well i'll use something in my box i wanted something with kind of a pink background this is crooked no biggie it's no biggie Okay, it's really hard when you have to tear on those small ends because it just doesn't want to stay under there very well. <clears throat> now, this is just copy paper, and we're going to put it here. Do I want it this way or that way? I think I like it like that, and it looks like this side's a little wide, so let's try this again. Just a little bit. I want a tiny border of white around the outside. So, let's see what happens. Well, so last night was Sadie's first night. She's She was a year old in uh, May. It was her first night to to sleep with my husband and I. She has been cozying up to me at bedtime and wanting in bed with me. And my husband usually takes her out and, and comes and gets her, takes her out, puts her in her nighttime bed in her crate. And she sleeps all night without any problems. So we decided why not just let her um, sleep with us. She loves it so much. And she slept all night long till 10 o'clock. Yeah, my husband slept. He stayed up pretty late watching some movie. But, um, yeah, she she just is so potty trained that it's almost weird. Have you, have you ever had a dog like that? That's so potty trained that it just seems crazy? But she is, and she wants you to take her out. She wants you to take her out, you know? Okay, so we're covering the front here so it can be drying. So it can dry. 
Okay, now I'm just putting it, the decoupage underneath at first. And then after we get the uh, floral on here, we'll come back and go over the whole thing in hopes that it works just fine. I'm not worrying about whether or not um, we've got it around the outside because it will end up around there anyway, probably. Now see, it is going to kind of change the shape of the envelope when it's wet, just so you know. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, that's the front. <clears throat> now I have this one for the back but I think I'm just gonna do, well, no, we might as well let this dry and do the back because they're both gonna have to dry. I just don't want it sticky. No, I think I'll wait. And the reason I'm feeling that way is um, I don't want both sides, I don't want one side sticking to the table while we're working on another side. So let's do that first. Okay, so. We've put our copy paper, this was on a copy paper, down first, and now <clears throat> we're gonna go around um, the outside of this flower with a wet um, brush. Now, I separated all of the different layers of this napkin, so we only have, you know, the one layer and um, so I'm gonna take a little bit at a time off here. I wanna get as close as I can to the flowers without losing a flower <laughs> or a leaf or something. But I don't want it to be way out, you know, a lot of color way out either. Let's do right here. A little bit's fine. Okay, now we'll do this top here. Just go around these leaves. Sometimes it will seep into your image, especially if you get close, like I just did. <laughs> Didn't mean to get quite that close, but I'm protecting it with my fingernails here. So maybe we won't have to worry about it. Okay. Now, if you don't like to use Maj Posh, which it doesn't bother me. I know the smell and different things bother some people. And some people just don't like the way it feels. I love the way it feels. It leaves like this fabulous feeling. Okay. Try not to get quite as close as I did, although my water is getting close. So today is Memorial Day, and of course, you know, um, normally today our pool in our neighborhood would open. Not that I would go get in it, but my grandchildren love it. And um, so, but I guess they decided because of the holiday, they were gonna wait till June 1st, which is silly because it's just a, a few days earlier. Maybe they're having to do some work. I'm gonna give them that. You know, they've had all year to do work. But I think it's really, they figure on uh, Memorial Day, it'll be too big a crowd. They're only gonna allow so many people in the pool area at a time. So you have to wait in line. Uh, it's gonna be a nightmare, but it's totally necessary. And I won't complain. The kids will. <laughs> you get them over there, they're going to not understand why they can't go in. But they'll have to stand and wait or, you know. I don't know if they're limiting how long you can be in the pool. But especially if there's people standing out there, you know. 
I don't know how they're going to manage it. It should be interesting. So, uh, I know a lot of people are going to the lake today. My son told me yesterday, <clears throat> well, first of all, I have stuff to tell you since my last video. Um, I know I told you my daughter-in-law's mother was ill. I don't know if I told you she passed away. And thank you guys for all your good thoughts and prayers uh, for my daughter-in-law. Please continue to do that. Um, she is, she's got a sister that's, um, you know, not easy to deal with. And so she's a little bit uh, concerned about how things will go. And so, um, anyway, I'm going to decoupage this on here. And so she's, she's, you know, concerned about that. And I don't under, I don't blame her. I've met her sister and, you know, she's, she's got issues. And so my daughter, poor little daughter-in-law has to, she just cried on the phone. I just, I love her and I don't like seeing anybody being ugly, but pray for her that. Uh, her sister will behave during the service and during the after plans. You know, taking care of, you know, everything that you take care of afterwards. Lost one little leaf right there. It was not... Cooperating. This is working, so I guess you can double decoupage. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm anxious to see how it's gonna look when it dries. So I'm just, you know, going underneath, putting some of the decoupage underneath, and then just scooping it over. When you add images like this, you guys have heard me say it many times. You start from the center and pull out when you're when you're going over the top of an image. So see, you are going to be able to see this background behind it. I've never done this. I've never um, decoupaged like this before. So learned something new today right along with you unless you've done it like this. I just decided I didn't want it to just be white on the outside, you know. So I'm going to try to get all the edges really good so when it dries, or as it dries, we can Okay, get right in here. Let's see if it will. Looks like some of the edges on the paper, you know how it is. May have to do a second coat, but we'll see. Not too concerned about that. Let me get a wipey so we can wipe the table here or wipe this work mat off and then we'll blow dry it and it usually doesn't take that long now i'm looking here to see what happened to the lid to my glue there it is i just noticed it was sitting here with the lid off okay now let me move this away from sorry guys Mute your video if you don't want to listen to this. It takes a few minutes for the heat gun to warm. But it doesn't take that long to get the uh, decoupage to dry when you use a heat gun. Isn't that 
pretty. That would make a pretty journal, wouldn't it? We may just end up making a journal. We may do that in the decoupage and co the covers in this video and then um, make like, it's taller than a traveler's. This is taller than a traveler's notebook, but it doesn't matter. We can make it anything we want. So that's not, that didn't take very long. Now we can do the back. Now on this back, we gotta tear the pages for it too. It looks like I got a lot of it torn already. I didn't realize that, but yay, that's good. So the back, um, we're not going to, oh, no, this is not the back. I'm sorry. I was about to put the wrong one on. I wondered, I looked at that and thought, why does that already look like the color? <laughs> why does it already look like I've torn it? And I don't recall doing that. So we're going to do this one and have this pretty floral on the back. A different floral, but in the same family. Just darker. And this is antique paper real, so. I could use their paper on everything I do. It's just so beautiful. We're gonna get some butterflies on this portion. And we may add more than just what's on here. Okay, one more tear. Okay. doke. So there we go. Now we're going to do the same thing on the back. Okay. I'm going to flip it over. Hopefully it'll be all right like that. And we're going to get the decoupage back out. And we're going to wet, let's make sure we got the top. Going to wet from the top down and cover this. Okay. So... Let's see, try to get this straight. I didn't put it on here to make sure I, I tore it the right size, but it looks like I did. Okay. Sounds like my husband has decided to go out and mow the yard while I'm doing a video. Don't you love it? what being retired does to you. He has mowed, he has, he's, I don't know what he's gonna do when he runs out of things to do. <laughs> he's, he's not a person that can just sit around, you know. I've got a lot of little chores I can give him to do. Okay, so let's work on this side now. Anyway, so my granddaughters, I mean, my, not my granddaughter, my daughter-in-law, um, her mother did pass away, so the services are on Friday. Um, so, yeah, it was real unexpected, and it makes it, it's just so much harder when you don't expect it, isn't it? Uh, let's see, we got a little bit here. Just a tiny bit right here that's too long. And I'm not gonna worry too much about it, but yeah, cause when I try to tear it, it's just gonna make a mess. So we're just gonna leave it. Get 
get underneath here. Okay. I'm keeping it wiped off because I don't want to get this all yucky looking. Making sure the edges are down. Because I forgot to do that on the other one. And I noticed that we had a little bit sticking up. So just make sure you get your corners really well. And anything else, I mean, you can stick your brush under there and feed it a little bit of this Mod Podge. Okay, it looks like that's better than I did on the other one. Maybe. Now, on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and cover the front because um, we're not putting an image or a napkin on the back. We're just covering it. I don't know exactly on the inside how this is gonna work, but we'll come up with some way to make it work. And what I'm talking about is covering this, because this is such a, it's like an envelope that has a big mouth for the opening uh, to the pocket. So I figure, um, I figure it'd be harder to um, do the inside because of those big pockets. So let's dry this real fast. It shouldn't take as long because it's, um, the heat gun is warmer than it was. Isn't that beautiful, that paper? I'm gonna open this up. They are two different distinct colors and that doesn't bother me. I knew that they weren't the same color. They've got peach, maroon. Almost done. So, on the inside, we definitely have to secure this spine because uh, if we don't you know you can't really do anything with it and right now I'm thinking okay is this going to be a strong enough envelope to uh, bound like a book because it is pretty weak now I don't want to do anything over this outside spine. So I'm thinking if I do something on the inside spine, it would be better. So, I'm thinking, what do we wanna put on there? Do we just wanna add an extra sheet? Or do we want to add, I'm thinking, or do we just wanna add some? Um, tea, tea stain paper or something like that. Something that's stronger than so I have this paper but it's yellow but we're not going to do it we're, we're not going to worry about the yellow I just I use a lot of scraps that are okay so what I think will look what we should do is just Add this to the inside and we'll see what happens I mean you know if we go in here and we put it inside it doesn't matter if it doesn't go all the way to the top and I'll tell you why 
you know what, we're gonna wanna cover this whole inside if we're gonna use them as pockets or cover over them. I wonder if I should put a bigger piece inside. Why don't we do that? And that way it just makes it a little bit stronger. Now we'll go in here. Oh my goodness, perfect fit. So I'm just gonna add some glue down into that area. You won't be able to see the yellow. There we go. We're just gonna put the glue on just a portion for now. Don't put it too close to the edge. You won't be able to get your envelope open if you, because we can't see. We're just gonna stick it down in there and see what happens. Okay. Keep it up in on, on the rear part. Now see, I'm making sure I've got it this much and this much at the top because that portion is not gonna be bound with anything. Uh, see, we won't have to worry about that. Okay, now we'll put some on this side. This might not be as easy. <laughs> we know it's the right size, but that's all we know, right? Okay. Almost out of this glue. I told you that in the last video, but I promise. We're almost out. It's too expensive to, you know, to waste. You have to be a little more patient because it, you know, uh, it's harder to get it started. I'm recording a little different. I hope you can see okay. All right, so let's see if we can get this in here. I'm, I'm starting to wonder because it's much bigger than the other side. I don't want it to stick to itself or to me. Let's get in there. Get in there. Come on, gotta be quick. All right, get in there. Come on. Come on, get in there. It's gonna happen, it's just slow. And it does, it's wanting to stick at the very back. So, hang on. You never know what is going to be good or bad about a video. This may be the bad. So it's down on the one side. It just doesn't want to go down on the other side. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just tuck it a little bit right here. And then we'll cover this side. It's not going to be a problem. I'll just put a little pleat right there and tuck it down. I should have um, realized that it wouldn't be that easy. So, there we go. It will be fine. It just makes the inside of it stronger. Yeah, there we go. Everything looks fine. Now... I know that you might think, oh, but that doesn't look fine. It really is going to be fine because you're going to see what I'm talking about here in just a moment. We're going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue right here on this one portion that caused us trouble. And it's going to be facing the outside, so we'll make that side, uh, the side that doesn't, that's not open and it won't be any big deal. There we go, right there. I just decided to put it on that side because I thought it would make things stronger. 
Now, that's perfect because that's the side I wanted to close. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put this paper down here. And we're gonna decoupage all the way down so that this pocket is closed. And that's why I said this will not be a problem. Um, I saved that side because I knew I wanted the other side to be open. You know, when you try to glue under stuff like that, it's, it's a nightmare. So let's go ahead and finish tearing this side. And we need to measure once it should be it should be the exact size but you never know so let's see before we glue it down let's get this side okay so you guys know that i have every tear tool in the world this one works the very best for me i <clears throat> I have several different ones. I have a Creative Memories one, which is from way back when. And then I have a um, We Are Memory Keepers. And that, it didn't cut it. I just didn't like it. It, um, it was too bulky. And this is very light and it's easier to get your paper to cooperate. Okay, so let's tear a little bit off the top. Perfect. Now I'm standing here, not standing, sitting, sitting here thinking what do we want to do right here? I think I want to do something that um, will look nicer right here in the middle. Like I said, this is, I have not done this. So you're doing it right along with me. I know this is all going to be decoupage down, but I'm thinking right here, I could just put more of this underneath and put it right up under here just so we don't have that blue sticking out. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I was concerned about the blue sticking out. This is definitely gonna be what I would call a junk journal when I get done, because it's gonna be just what, however I can get it together. I think it will look fine. Probably what I would recommend for you is don't decoupage first, do this part first. There we go. I see that looks better. So we'll do this other side the same way. We'll just take a piece of the same paper and put some glue on the back. And just slip it up under there. As we do all of these um, reinforcements, you will find that it will get stronger as we go along. Okay, so here we go. We're going to, let me wipe this glue off. It's spitting up, it's going <laughs> up and down. Okay, so this side's still holding out. So let's go ahead and get it bent for the inside. So we have a crease there. It's looking good, even though the inside has that little bad spot. We're just going to put another piece of paper down there. And we're going to do it 
with Maj Posh. So now I've got this in the water, so let me kind of dry it off a little bit. Don't want it completely drenched. I don't want it real watery. Okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna do over on this section first. And I'm gonna put it on pretty heavy so we know that it's covering nicely. And actually, I'm thinking, I'm sorry. Actually, uh, I'm gonna put it right here as well. And it probably would not hurt to put some glue kind of on the inside. Don't freak out. This is a, this is definitely, I'm telling you up front, it's not a project that I've done before. So we're learning together. We're doing the bumps, bumps in the road together. Okay, so now we're going to get everything covered in Mod Podge. And now it's also glued our, our paper down. Now, this is going to wrinkle no matter what, okay? It's just impossible. This envelope, you know, is it's just man-made. It's not, it's not, um, how do I put it? The construction, constructs, constructing it was not a priority. Just getting it together was. Okay, so now we're going to get the outside coated real good here on this side. And then we'll dry it. And move on to the other side. Now, on the other side, I thought we would definitely make it into a pocket, but I gotta think about that. How are we going to do that? Well, I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. Could only do one thing at a time, right? All right. I just woke up this morning and thought, I want a decoupage. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can. I had already had the other envelopes ready uh, to, um, to make, and I was just gonna collage on the front of those, but I just felt like this needed to be decoupaged. Okay, so I'm gonna bring out a heat gun here. It's getting stronger and stronger as we do more and more to it. So probably what we'll do is we'll we'll put a pocket here. Getting real close. So what I would say to you is be glue your flaps together on this envelope, then glue your reinforcement on the inside. And the reason I say that is because you can see there's a little bit of a crease here and that's from the crease on the inside, which is not a big deal, as Rachel would say. <laughs> Um, you know, it's fine. I'm sorry if you can hear that lawnmower. I'm have to tell my husband to 
try to wait. <laughs> he wasn't thinking, obviously. Okay, so this side is all nice and done. I love the way decoupage feels. It's looking really nice, the whole thing. So right here, I have this other piece and I'm thinking, is it dark enough to go with this? I mean, this came off of one of the pieces in the front, but let me look and see what else I have. I thought I had another one that had more butterflies. That has one. Maybe it didn't. Here's some butterflies. Let's go down this way. Oh, there's some. Um, I gotta decide. Huh. I think this one, because it's got a butterfly that's the same color and it seems to kind of be in that same purple fa family. Okay, now we're going to get this cut down and I'm going to take some of this white off. I'm going to pull I'm going to pull it from right here. Whoops, excuse me. I'm going to take it from right here. Make it nice and straight as best I can. There we go. Now, let's see what size. Okay. I just noticed there's a little mouse right here just and some bugs, but that's all right. Okay. Let's get it right here. All right. Now, it's going to go right over here. But this time, I don't want to lose my pocket. So what we're going to do, get that up for a second. I don't know what that came from. Just a big blob of glue. Now, um, I just kind of put a little fold in it so I know how far I want it to go. There we go. Now, what we're gonna do this time is decoupage on this portion. And this portion will not get the decoupage right here. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. Keep your fingers crossed that it will actually work. So we're gonna decoupage on the envelope itself. Okay, but not not on the other side. Now, we may decide we don't like it this way and we just may decide to seal that up too. And you can. You just do it whatever, however you want. But uh, there is no sure way. I'm just, and I'll tell you this, even though I got the inspiration from Gina, she, she did not do this exact thing on her channel. She was way more organized. She had done it uh, before, and so she did it um, differently. She actually collaged hers. Okay, so now we should have no problem getting this to uh, cooperate with us. Okay, now, anything past that point is not going to glue down. Now, I'll tell you, when we do the top, it's going to be a different story. I don't know how we're going to keep... Uh, 
Okay. And that is not super strong. If you want to do it this way, you can. I can see where it would be fine. You just want to put something inside. That's what I keep this sort of plastic for. You want to put something underneath here. So that it doesn't seal down. Because we're going to decoupage the whole thing. But you want to slide this plastic all the way in. And that way you don't have to worry about... Let me move some of this stuff. It's getting in my way. There we go. All right. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and decoupage. And I just put a big blob on there. And that's okay. Just smooth it out. Now, we don't want it to stay stuck to this plastic. We just want the plastic there to keep it from um, sticking to the pocket. I put way too much on my brush. But it's going to turn out to be just enough. Now, if you want more butterflies on here, now's the time to do that. And I'm kind of thinking I do want some more butterflies. Um, now, let's wipe this off. Okay. So now we've got the two butterflies. I have one here that I can fussy cut. It's not my fussy cut scissors, but it will work, right? And it doesn't have to be super fancy. I cut butterflies in my sleep. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I went on Pinterest. I've been wanting some pastel butterflies, and and I know all the ones I got from Tracy and Rachel weren't pastel. They were, you know, they were what actual butterflies look like. But um, I saw Angela on her channel with some pastel uh, butterflies. And she said to go to Pinterest. That's where she found hers. And uh, they had more than you could imagine. And, and it sent you to the Etsy shops, you know, of those people that, um, I think I want this right here. Let's turn it a little bit. So it doesn't match this other one. Let's see if I got some more here. I know I've got more already cut out, but I want them to kind of look like they all go together. Um, let's see, let's get some out. Let me see what I can come up with. I'm gonna dig through my book here. I think if we could put some blue one, a blue one on there, that would be pretty. Let's see. Let's put him up here. Let me get, I've got so much Maj Paj up on the top of my, I keep forgetting that this is my new, um, my new um, bottle of Maj Paj and I keep sticking my brush too far down in there. So that's, that's what happens. Okay, one more, let's see. I don't have any pastel ones in this um, particular uh, uh, container, but we can put some other types. Okay, right there will work. Put this little guy right there. Yeah. 
just gonna let him land where he lands. Okay, now, all right, so that, we'll add some more to the other side in just a minute. Let's dry this real quick. See, this plastic is not allowing it to stick to the bottom. I will tell you that this is not going to be as strong. Uh, you might think about, I'm thinking now what we should have done to make the pocket portion stronger is to have glued a layer of something heavier over this part and then put the decoupage on top of that. We are learning together here. Okay, now let's see where else we need some butterflies. We need some over here also. Then we'll put that back in for a little bit. All right, so let's see what other butterfly. Here's this one. Now, I'm not going just with pastels because I don't have just pastels in here. All of those are in the other room. But we'll put a little bit here. I like the butterflies on here. Oh, good grief. And that's the nice thing about gel medium and uh, decoupage is that you can just add whatever you want on here. So let me find a yellow. I know there's some yellow because I saw them earlier. Maybe. Here's an orange and yellow. Let's put him right there, and then that'll be enough for this side. We'll dry that, and then he's going toward the plant. I'm really sticking a bunch on him because he's he was heavier cardstock. He just felt heavier. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna dry this. My suggestion to you when it comes to doing this type of thing it's to really, re, uh, really secure your envelope. Uh, this envelope was not heavy weight at all. And at the time, I didn't really think about that, but as soon as we got started and I could see it wasn't as heavy as some, but now it's heavier. I need to see what time it is. Make sure we still have plenty of time. Okay, we're right at an hour. So I figure um, we should stop at this point and pick up in the next video. Now, what we're gonna do in the next video is add some more butterflies and I will do those prior to the video 
get the butterflies on here. And then um, we'll go from there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do it with some pink pastel papers inside. Um, and we're just not going to put 50 million papers. You know, I figure I'll put 10 in here. And that would give it, you know, plenty. But, um, yeah, and then I'll be back after I, I'm going to add some more butterflies. And then I'll be back and we'll stitch some uh, paper into this and make it a little journal. It's not anything fancy, by no means. But, um, yeah, it will... I'm getting some of this edging kind of overflowed from the front to the back. I don't mind that it's messy. That's one of the fun things about what we do. We don't have to worry about that, but I think that turned out really pretty. I wouldn't mind just sitting down and doing a book like this. You know, like a, I've got a book that is uh, cardboard I want us to do. It's perfect shape box to do that. And maybe we'll just do it like this. Who knows? I want it to be really carefree and easy. See, that is under there nicely. I think if I put a second coat on this, it might be better. Now, and I probably will go ahead and put a pocket right here. So, I'm looking, we could put a pocket right here, but I don't know, maybe not, because we've got a big pocket right here, and if we want to put any other pockets, we can do it on the inside of the papers afterwards, okay. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this unprepared uh, fly by the seat of your pants video because that's what this was. And um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next video where we will um, put some more paper. Not put more, but put some paper in this and make it a journal. See you then. Bye.